Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Fanconi Anemia Research Fund meeting for adults with FA. I'm disappointed that we're not seeing each other in person in Austin, Texas, like we had hoped, but as you all know, these are not normal times. It's hard to imagine the full extent of the pain COVID-19 will cause to people worldwide. In the United States alone, we've lost over 200,000 lives and millions of jobs have evaporated, and the crisis is far from over. During the pandemic, FARF has remained committed to being an essential lifeline to all of you. We're working hard to maintain the level of service you are accustomed to and have stayed focused on moving the mission forward. However, like you, we have struggled over the last six months. COVID-19 upended our plans in mid-March and we had to pivot to a new service model. This new model required a shift in each of our organization's departments, administration, family services, fundraising, and research. In each of these areas, we strive to anticipate problems. We asked hard questions, considered worst case scenarios, and brainstormed all the different actions we could take to maintain a high service level. During the process, the FARF staff reminded me of the resilience and the deep shared commitment they have for all of you. They have taught me what is possible when confronted with a new normal. They worked feverishly to shift all our events in 2020 to a virtual format and created new action plans for raising money and funding research. This ability to innovate, execute, and deliver was precisely what we needed. The pandemic clouds will eventually lift, but our community must stay close together when facing challenges like we are now. The team here at FARF will not waver in our support for the community by remaining nimble and pivot when necessary, but we must also stay honest with the community and let you know when we need your help. Currently, the best way to help is through fundraising. Reaching out to your friends and family, asking them to support our efforts this winter will help us weather the storm and keep us on the path to providing the service that means so much to all of you. Now more than ever, we need to rely on appeal letters to offset the challenges faced by our fundraising team. Gone at least temporarily are events, galas, and live auctions. What is left are appeals to those who want to support you. Our team stands ready to assist you in this effort and will help guide you through developing an appeal, so please reach out for our help. I wish I could provide the clarity we all want um, for what FARF will look like in 2021, but unfortunately the uncertainty is still real and present. However, I can promise you that we will learn from the future challenges and adapt to keep us pointed in the right direction and grow despite the hurdles. I'm not trying to predict the unpredictable, but what I know is that our FA community is strong. And if we work together, we can drive our efforts forward even when things are uncomfortable. So thank you for taking this journey with us. I hope you enjoy the next few days. And to kick it off, I'm gonna turn it over now to our Family Services Director, Jordan Dynas. Thanks, Mark. Hi everyone, we're so glad you're here. Um, while I certainly wish we were able to meet in person this year, I've met a number of you virtually. And I just wanna say thank you so much for welcoming me into your special community. I know that meeting in person is what makes this event very special for most of you or many of you. Uh, for many, this event is the only time you get to physically be around other people who truly understand what it's like to be in your shoes. So while we can't fully replicate the experience of meeting in person, it is still possible to find meaningful ways to connect with one another virtually. My challenge to you this weekend is to really utilize the spaces that we've created as connection points. You'll have a number of opportunities to connect with others throughout the meeting, including support sessions, virtual house parties, Slack, and the virtual concert. Um, so before we get started, I wanna just shift gears for a quick moment. What I'm about to say goes for both adults with FA and for caregivers. I want to acknowledge that this is hard. It's hard living day to day with the fear of the unknown. It's exhausting living with physical and mental pain. It's scary living through a pandemic, isolation, civil unrest, awful wildfires and hurricanes even. It's difficult to take time out of your busy schedules when you have so many other things that you guys have to manage. I don't say these things to discourage anyone, but just to acknowledge any present pain that exists in any number of us. So during this event, if you find that you're feeling triggered or overwhelmed, please take time to care for yourself. This is super important, not only to your physical and mental well-being, but also to actually absorbing the information that's shared during this meeting. So I know that me telling you to care for yourself may seem trite, and I don't mean for it to, but I say this knowing that it isn't easy. It's not easy to care for yourself. 
I'm not telling you to go to the spa or get a pedicure, though that sounds really nice right now. Um, I'm encouraging you to practice micro cares. And this is a term that I learned from a good friend, Allison Breininger. Micro care could be as simple as getting a drink of water, taking a break from the session, or maybe even limiting the number of sessions that you attend. Remember that many of these sessions will be recorded and made available after the meeting. So if you need to step away, it's okay to do so. And please let FARF staff or others in the community know if there's any way that we can support you with this. Our contact information is gonna be posted in the chat box below if you need to contact us. If you notice that someone else may be feeling triggered or overwhelmed, please reach out to them and offer support if you're in a position to do so. Let's practice community care here. This goes even beyond just our own self-care. And let's make everyone here feel welcomed, loved, accepted, and supported during this time when connection and relationship are so desperately needed. So on a lighter note, um, I hope that you find great value in this meeting and that you find joy in knowing that both love and support are available to you within this FA family.